this is Steve from ORS Racks Direct here to talk to you today about Yakima's Kingpin series of hitch racks. This here is the Kingpin 4 model. Holds four bikes on a two inch receiver. It also comes in a two bike and a five bike model. Um, this one's great. They're not in use. These arms fold down. I'm pulling this pin. Put this pin back in here. Save space, especially if you're backing up, parking. Also, when it's empty, you can take this pin. You need to access the rear of your vehicle. This tips down and out of the way. I don't recommend doing it with the bikes on. It's way too heavy. So this comes... The Kingpin series comes with Yakima switch blade cradles. Um, they're an anti-sway cradle to keep the bikes from rocking back and forth. All you do is place the bike into the cradle, put the rubber straps around it, find the appropriate hole. and you're good to go. Um, a great accessory for this one is uh, called the deadlock. It consists of two different pieces. Um, a lock that goes on the hitch pin that locks your rack into the receiver. It's this little lock slides right over the end of your hitch pin. You lock it. It's not coming off. No one's taking the rack off of your vehicle. They also have a cable that comes out at the end. And what this does is it'll wrap around the last bike and it hooks back on itself here. So when this is locked, if you can't get the last bike off, you can't get any of the other bikes off. So total bike security. And it slides conveniently right back in the arm so you don't have extra pieces floating about your car. Now, if this bike didn't have a standard top tube, Yakima also makes a product called the Tube Top. And this is a bike frame adapter. If you have a tube that comes way down on a women's bike, or some downhill bikes have kind of odd shaped frames, what this does is it allows you to adapt it to this rack. You push the little lever in, these arms come up, and so now what you're going to do is you're going to wrap this around this bar, push the lever down. This goes around the headset and down. And in essence, this will become your new top tube. It's not needed on this bike. But so once it's wrapped around like that, all you have to do is place this right here in this bar and strap this part down.